One Texas county is taking illegal handicap parking and the consequences that go along with it and putting it into the hands of its citizen volunteers, and it is amazing. Where do you see this one? Yeah, welcome in parking fans. This one is out of Travis County, Texas here in the United States. They have created a program for citizens to handle illegally parked people in the handicapped spots. And this is how easy it is with the technology you have in your pocket. Check out their new program. Finding parking in Austin can be a pain, but for those with disabilities, it can be even more difficult, especially when people park illegally in disabled parking spots. The nonprofit group Parking Mobility hopes to stop violators and educate them through a new contract with the county. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains how it all works. Finding parking downtown where I can deploy my ramp is nearly impossible. So Renee Lopez has to park four blocks away from where she needs to be. Every time, every time I come downtown. Often I hear my mother telling people, I never thought that Renee would be driving us around, but I can and I do, and it's just, it's freedom. Renee's lived with a disability since she was born, and now she's joining the movement to stop illegal parking in disabled spots. The problem I have now more than ever before is finding accessible parking. It's sad to lock yourself in because somebody else's actions. Mac Marsh started the parking mobility app six years ago. I have a spinal cord injury uh, as a result of a diving accident. This is an issue that I very quickly became affected by. With their phones, trained volunteers can take pictures of violators. Blocking curb cuts like this and ramps is also against the law. And then violators may have to pay up. Max says there's been thousands of reports sent in. People report because they're passionate about this issue, because they're affected by this issue. So we can have a city that is accessible and a great place for everyone, everyone to live and be happy. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. In a six-month pilot program, there were nearly 400 citations in southwest Austin alone, and they can be very expensive. Violators will either have to pay a $500 fine, go to court, or take an education course. Parking Mobility hopes drivers will take the course because they want to educate them. The program is expected to be countywide in just a few weeks. Texas law allows communities to recruit volunteers to issue tickets to people who park in the wrong spaces. To issue those tickets, you have to be at least 18 years old and complete four hours of training. You cannot have a record with any felony charges and you are not allowed to carry a weapon while issuing tickets. Yeah, so about that, um, <laughs> an education class. These people are educated. They know they can't park there. They're lazy. They don't care. The, the education is not going to tell them anything they don't already know. Uh, uh, good for the guy for trying, but it's not. It's not, it's pointless. These people are just entitled. They don't care. There isn't a single person that parks in a handicap spot that doesn't know they're not supposed to be parking there if they're not supposed to be parking there. They know it. Anyways, I like it. I like volunteers being able to write the tickets. I like them being able to issue it. I like them uh, having to pay a five, forget about the class. Just make them pay the $500 fine. Watch how fast they'll stop doing that, right? Because now they're like, oh, I won't get caught, caught by a cop. But now it's, oh, I could be caught by anyone. I, I don't know who could be out here ticketing me. So I'm not going to do it again. Bank on it. 500 bucks every time they do it, they'll stop real quick. You'll have a lot of suspended license of people that can't pay it, or you'll have a lot of people shoving money down the city's throat because, look, 500 bucks, that's a big chunk of change. You give me a $500 ticket for something, it's not just a cup of coffee. I'm spending $500, right? I think that's what they should do. Skip the class, go to the $500 fine. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. It's Friday, uh, May 24th, 2024, Memorial Day weekend. Be safe, guys. Don't do anything crazy. Don't do anything stupid. Don't drink and drive. Don't get uh, yourself put in jail. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, you know, be safe. Have fun, but be safe. And uh, I'll see you guys right back here again tomorrow on Saturday. Thank you so much. Like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.